feel like it's going really well. Uh, you know, installing a new offense um, is always a little difficult at first, um, but I feel like we're coming around. Um, we're learning a lot. Uh, we're getting better each day, and we're learning from our mistakes. I feel like it's the biggest thing in this offense is just to, to study all the time and um, come out and, and be ready to work each day. Did you have a list of goals that you'd like to accomplish in the spring? Or? I did, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, putting on weight's a big goal for me. Um, but, you know, in terms of football, it's, it's just learning um, as much as I can. You know, not tr learning to, to take what the defense gives you, um, not trying to force throws, be smart with the ball, and uh, eliminate the turnovers. How many plays did you put on since you got here? Um, I got in last summer at 179, and right now I'm at 195. And what would you want to be at now? My goal weight's, you know, 210, 215. So tell me what you eat every day to, 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 to start that journey. Well, that's a long list, but, you know, I start off coming here in the mornings um, and getting two or three breakfast sandwiches and, and drinking a shake. Um, and then I kind of go out throughout the day um, eating what they give us at, at the academic center. Um, and then I come in and get lunch, and then I get dinner, and then I get a midnight snack around 1130. Midnight snack. Yeah. What's in the midnight snack? You know, it can, it, it, it really differs. You know, the, I have the luxury of, of uh, not being picky on what I eat just because I need to eat whatever I can. Uh, so, you know, it's, it, whether it's canes or a pizza or, I mean, I try to stay healthy, but at this point, there's no point in trying to stay healthy. I just need to gain the weight. So, they say canes is like the worst thing you can It is, <laughs> yeah. But, but Lauren, our nutritionist, said the fried food's the better put on weight. So, okay. yeah. Fried food's the better. You know, a lot of people are jealous of you doing the opposite. Exactly, of yeah. Don't eat after 9 o'clock and all that. <laughs> what if, uh, have you gotten better? Have the scrimmages made you better? The speed of the game, you're getting accustomed to all that? For sure, yeah. That was a big thing that I learned for coming in from high school is that the speed of the game changes a lot. Um, you know, when, when the windows were there in high school, you know, they might not be here now. Um, and uh, you're having to, you know, throw the receiver open instead of seeing him open. Um, but, you know, I, I, learned, I learned from each scrimmage. Um, and uh, like I say, you know, just trying to eliminate the turnovers is my biggest thing. What's it like going from Bill to Steve? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, it, it's different. Um, but you know, he's my offensive coordinator, um, and, and I really like him. He knows what he's talking about. He's very upbeat. Um, he's a great coach, um, and uh, it's, it's also helpful that he's played the position. So he definitely knows what he's talking about. Is he hard on you like he, like he was to Foster and the rest? Of For sure. Yeah. I mean, you know. Uh, you know, we're the, we're the kids he's coaching now, so, uh, you know, you can't take anything personal. Um, this is, a, this is a, a, his job and a business, and uh, we just have to know that. Oh, Miles, you got so much hype as a, as a high school player, and a lot of people around there, whether it's fair or not, but they have monumental expectation about what you can do. I mean, mm -hmm. how do you deal with that? I mean, you're only one year out of high school. I mean, how do you deal with that as an individual? Yeah, you know, you really can't focus on that. You know, you really have to put that away. Um, this is a new, a new journey, a new step in my life. Um, and and what, I, what I look at it every day is, is just trying to get better, you know. I'm going to let the outcomes take care of themselves. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm here to, to go out and perform in my best ability, and so that's what I'm going to do. What do you think the competition is right now? I feel like it's going really good. You know, we, we go out there and we push each other each day. Um, you know, we're, we're teammates. Uh, we're trying to learn from each other's mistakes. Uh, we're, we're friends on and off the field. Do you think you deserve that starting spot? Yeah, that's a good question from Coach L. <laughs> what do you think are your best abilities? What do you like to bring to the field? You know, I feel like I can do whatever the coaches ask. Um, you know, obviously, Lowell and Justin are, are faster than I am. Um, but I feel like we all bring, you know, the same traits. You know, we can all throw the ball very well. And, and if they ask me to run the ball, I can run the ball. Um, so I, whatever they ask, I'm going to do. Is it fun when people say, you know, who's the pocket quarterback? I mean, it's a little fun just because, you know, on, on Saturday nights they can see that I can run. You know, maybe I don't run far, but, it, you know, if I have to get the first down or a touchdown, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I have to do. Can you make all the throws now? Is that something you're working on? Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I can make any throw. Um, I just have to, you know, go out and, and, and keep learning um, and, and, you know, just like I said, not force anything. How was your back strength to get it out there? I feel like I do, yeah. And, and you know, when, when, when the weight comes on, the, you know, the strength will come with that. So. What did, what did you learn watching these games last year, Miles, especially – the SEC games against the really good teams. What, what, what did you take away from that? Yeah, you know, you, you have to be smart with the ball. Um, obviously, the teams with the least turnovers are most likely going to win. Um, and so, you know, like I said, not forcing anything and taking what the defense gives you is going to help out a lot. Um, and, and play and, and play the game play by play. You know, if it's a bad play, throw it away. If it's a good play, throw it away and move on to the next play. I know you have started uh, doing some different things in the red zone. How has that installation kind of gone for you? I feel like it's going really well. You know, uh, along with the, the whole installation, um, we're learning day by day. Um, and, 
no, we're just doing the best we can. Does it feel really different than, than y'all did in the red zone last year? A little bit, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a new offense, a new system, um, and, and it's, it's upon us to learn. And so we're going to do that and go out and perform and, and score when we get in the red zone. Miles, they put you in the game at Alabama with four minutes left. I'm just curious what you took from that experience and just, you know, kind of seeing the best up close and knowing this is what I'm going to have to do mm -hmm. you know, eventually. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, that, they told me to go get warm, so I went in there and, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's just a game, you know, no matter the size of the stadium, no matter, you know, the crowd, you know, any, none of that really matters. At the end of the day, you still have to go out and perform, go through your reads, um, throw to the right person, and, and don't force anything. How was you like the back having... last year, and, and what did you learn from that? Yeah, you know, I, I learned a lot. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he only had, like, two interceptions, um, and, and I took that away, like I keep saying, you know, not forcing anything, take what they give you, um, and being smart with the ball. Um, he was a competitor. He was a fighter. Um, and so it was, it was really cool to be behind him and learn from him. Do you like having that quarterback battle as everybody's pushing one another? And really offensively, why is it kind of all learning at the same pace? For sure, yeah, it's great, you know, to go out there. And, and, you know, I love competition. So, you know, we're all competing with each other. We're all pushing each other, which at the end of the day, it all makes us better. As far as learning together, do you feel like that's helping the receivers and you kind of build the rapport? For sure, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're all on the same page. You know, it's a new offense for the whole team. Um, and so we're, for us, all starting on ground, level zero. I feel like it's helped out a lot. Does this bother you that there's not a starting quarterback named right now? No, it doesn't. You know, I let that take care of itself. Um, you know, the quarterback room is open. We go out, we compete with each other every day. We make each other better, um, and I let that take care of itself. Miles, a quarterback at Georgia last year was kind of thrown into a situation where mm -hmm. you're going to kind of be in this year with not a lot of experience, but he improved tremendously as the year went on. Have you studied him at all? Would you? You said, hey, you know, he he can do that. I'm certainly capable of it. Anything you drew from that at all? For sure, yeah. I mean, I, I've talked to him a number of times, um, you know, and, and obviously he's a great kid and a great quarterback. Um, and, you know, he uh, he made plays when he needed to. Um, he was smart with the ball, um, and, he, and he was a leader. When did you guys speak once? Uh, it, it was sometime in the off offseason. Uh, we're both big hunters, so that's most of the time how the conversation would start. Um, but, you know, after games, you know, I'd congratulate him and, and vice versa. And uh, we talk about, I know when we played Mississippi State, they were playing them the next week. So we were just kind of going back on what State's defense was like. Um, so him and I have a good relationship. Where did y'all first meet, Miles? Uh, we met in Los Angeles at the Elite 11. At the Elite 11. Okay. Can you tell me about your line? Just kind of how they're progressing. Obviously, they're seeming new as well. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a great job. You know, obviously, you know, the protection's been great. Um, you know, like you said, they're, they're all learning. You know, they're, they're learning the new protections, the new schemes, and things like that. But they're giving 100% effort every day, and that's all we can ask for. The same thing with the running backs. No matter what pressure can be taken off of you with a good run game. For sure, yeah. And, and, you know, it's kind of the same goes for them. You know, they're busting their butt every day. Um, they're doing everything that coach is asking them to do, um, and that's all they can do. Your, your wide receivers, they just they look like physical freaks. I mean, how, you know, how dangerous can the passing attack be if these guys can run the routes and you can get in the ball? I mean, it, it's going to be very dangerous. You know, they're, they're, they're all in. Um, you know, they're learning just as well as we are. Um, you know, when, when we put the ball in their hands, we know that they're going to make plays. Last one. Frustrating to have to learn an offense one year and then throw it out and have to learn a new one. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's just part of it. You know, it's it's a job, it's a business. Coaches come, coaches, you know, they come and go. Um, so as a player, you just have to, you know, know that and embrace that and uh, go out and study it and, and get better.